it Frowsy in a tux or Lisa. We're going to call her Lisa, I guess. And we're going to be actually just talking today, we're not doing much. You guys will see that I'm drawing her OC, which, what's his name? Uh, Max. His name Ma is Max. Max. Okay, so I'm drawing her OC Max, as you can see. But we're just going to be talking about OCs and stuff. I don't know exactly what we're supposed to be talking about, but we'll figure that out. So what do you want to talk about way. exactly? Um, well, basically, we could just talk about, like, you know, characters, our characters, some certain experiences we've had with, like, people um being mean or something yeah yeah like um you know what i mean like people who <laughs> there's a lot of people who love to diss people's ocs i have come across that so many times and like they will see your oc and you'll like say if you're like in a role play group have you ever been in a role play group like back yeah in the oh my gosh i have been in so many role play groups and you'd have an oc you made up for the role play and someone always had something wrong to say about your oc and i don't understand why I know, it's always <laughs> like, you're compared to the other people in the roleplay group too. I know, like everyone was like comparing OCs based on like how good they were. And I was like, why? Like, why, and, exactly. Oh, one of the biggest problems with OCs and roleplaying is everyone feels they have to be main character quality where like oh they have God, all this right. backstory and they have all this cool stuff about them. Someone's missing an eyeball. Someone like doesn't and have a dad. they try to one up each other. Too. Exactly. But no one's just a normal person. And then they act like if someone's normal and like really normal, they, they act like it's a bad boring. thing, but that's a exactly. good thing. Exactly. Some people need to be normal. Yeah. And um. I don't understand why that is such a problem. When, when making OCs, I've noticed there's always so many issues with designs. And the biggest problem is for me is being original and coming up with like ideas I think are cool. Usually yeah. when I have stuff in my head, it never comes out like I expect it to. <laughs> it comes out looking weird. Like... It, it there are so many times whenever people compare OCs and like make fun of your design or calling it lazy or something and mm -hmm. making fun of, not making fun of, but like comparing your character to other people that are real or other people's characters. Yeah. And it, like whenever it comes down to it, uh, OCs, like you, you make something based on stuff that you've seen in real life that you like. Yeah. So you're bound to have some similarities between other characters or real life people. Yeah, that, that is so true. Like, um, I think I made an OC once that a long while ago that had like blondish hair and everyone was comparing him to some guy that I, I saw him once and I thought, but I never really designed it towards that guy. But still, mm -hmm. they, th that was the only thing it was compared to. But then this other time, I had an OC that actually did see a guy or something that I thought looked cool. And that's what I put it into it. Like, I used the same hairstyle or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then people act like that's a problem. Like, you can't do that. It's not like I'm like, yeah. I don't understand why that's an issue. It, that's exactly what's going on with Maxi Boy here. <laughs> oh, how come? Um, he's, he's, he's clearly got half red hair, half brown hair, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And lots of people say that he looks like a particular YouTuber because uh, oh, I, think I, I did, know who you're talking about. Yeah, I did give him brown and red hair based on the YouTuber. Yeah. But the difference is that his hair, my character's hair, is actually half black, half brown, half red. Whilst the other guy's hair, he's got like three quarters brown and one quarter red. Yeah. Of hair. Yeah. See, see, that's the thing. Like you get in, like when you see something. You're like, oh man, that's so cool. I would love to try something like that. And that's usually mm -hmm. why people come up with different ideas of things is because they see something and then get encouraged to try something similar and it makes mm -hmm. sense. But I don't see how that's an issue and people will go and make fun of your OCs or act like they're yeah, bad. Or call you lazy or say that it's stolen. It like you can't steal hair colors. Like <laughs> everyone has, oh my gosh, you just reminded me of something that was so triggering. Oh I'm sorry, God. but I'm gonna trigger everyone with this. <laughs> is that I once made an OC little character. It wasn't even something I drew out yet or anything. I was just a character for a text roleplay thing. And the character had, um, I think it was just black hair, mm -hmm. which was a very common hair color from where the people were from. And mm -hmm. everyone was acting like it was the worst thing ever. And it was so terrible because that was the, the natural hair color there. What the heck? Because that's not cool. It's not unique. So they're like... Therefore, it's not cool. And then I actually got kicked out of role plays before because I my character wasn't- I guess I'm wasn't... not cool or unique because my hair is black. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. I know we're talking about role plays more than OCs right now, though. <laughs> I am getting on to role topic. playing and that is so, can get so annoying, especially when people <laughs> overpower themselves or something. Oh gosh, god modding, yes. <laughs> it's so annoying. Oh my gosh. Okay, oh. so so tell me, so tell me story of something about your OCs. Okay, there's, um, I'm a really big avid shipper. I love to do OC and canon shipping. Yeah. Like, shipping my characters with already existing characters. Just oh my gosh, really? 
Yeah, I'm, I'm just really big on that. Okay, and so many people are against it because against I don't know it. why. Why? <laughs> It's like they think it's unoriginal to ship your character with someone that already exists, or it automatically makes your character a Mary Sue or something like that. Oh my gosh, um, Mary Sue! Yeah. That is, I I'm triggered again. I'm just gonna be triggered the entire video. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. guys. Mary Sue, seriously, everyone is so upset about those recently. I see that all over Instagram, all over all these different social media sites, and everyone is just so mad about that. And I don't understand why. Like, for instance, I understand if they're like, okay. Your character is just generic or something. You're like, why? Yeah. But, I mean, like, I understand if you, they're like saying like they want to tell you like tips about storytelling or something, then okay, fine. But they're just simply saying if your character is liked by anyone or liked by their entire group, therefore they're Mary Sue, they're terrible. I know. They have I, to. I think it's, it's kind of funny how like there are so many characters that exist in actual stories like that are officially produced and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, that have characters that are like this, but nobody bats an eye usually, yeah. unless it's just some small little quote unquote nobody mm -hmm. uh, just like drawing a character for, for whatever reason, whether it's an original series or it's uh, a fan character or something like that. Yeah. They're always called out for being a Mary Sue or Mary Stu. I know. Stewart oh my gosh. And they only ever not call them that is if they have drama with their best friends, which I think is so annoying and unfair because think about it. If you're really best friends with people, half the time you don't fight over things. You don't have huge blow. It's 24 seven. Mm -hmm. But in exactly. shows, if they don't fight and stuff like that, they act like all the characters are just boring and they're not cool because they get along. And I don't understand exactly. that. Exactly. I don't understand that either. I mean, obviously drama makes sense and makes a story interesting, yeah. but it doesn't have to be through the friend group. I know. What, drama with, like, why is it this what? friend group fighting against the bullies? Yeah, why can't the drama be from the outside of the friends exactly. every once in a while? Why does the drama always have to be on the inside where all the friends yeah. are suddenly mad with each other? I love seeing yeah. shows that have like friends that are literally friends and they're always there for each oh. other, but half oh. the shows they're always mad at each other and it's so annoying. My favorite anime is a really good example of people becoming friends and being good friends and even though they do bicker between each other they never usually mean it in a mm -hmm. derogatory way yeah they're they, they they all started off as like enemies or something but then after a while they ended up having similar interests and oh they i love friends. stories like that what's the anime <laughs> yu yu Hakusho. oh wait 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 i'm that, that was go on tv wasn't it like yeah it, it back used during to be the Pokemon Tsunami. Sailor Moon Digimon days. Yeah, it used to be on Tsunami back then, but then it was removed during the Dark Tournament. Oh, I don't. I didn't ever watch it though. I never oh, watched Sailor Moon so either. Good. I only ever watched Pokemon and Digimon. <laughs> I love Wait. Sailor Moon. I didn't get to watch it fully though. I never watched. I watched the first episode. No, I couldn't finish the first episode. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, <laughs> I. I'm, it's not my childhood. See, when it's your childhood, it's different, and you're like, yay, I love this. But when it's not your childhood and you go see it again and you're just seeing it for the first time way later, I'm sorry guys. Yeah, Let's I say it's that. so it's so bad. It, it, if you're watching the original rendition of it with the original voice mm -hmm. acting, yeah, yeah, it is kind yeah. of cringy. Yeah, I mean it's kind of like um, Dragon Ball Z is one of those things that when you're it, it's your childhood, you're like, yay, I love it. But then if you mm -hmm. go back or you're new to watching it, you're gonna see that it's kind of repetitive or it's the same thing and it, it, every show is like that there's a lot of childhood or like something you remember as from your childhood that makes it feel so much better and why are we talking how do we get on this okay we're talking about ocs anymore we're talking about ocs okay okay um yeah ocs well we're talking about um <clears throat> people hating each other in friend groups oh yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. that but i'm not yeah. sure oh you're not allowed to have characters that hate uh, that love each other or else every character is a sue yeah and i don't get that i do not I understand that either. like friends have to be angry at each other all the time but one of the things you pointed out the whole thing about people bickering but in like a friendly sort of manner mm -hmm. that is my favorite thing i don't know why i like characters who have a lot of sass and i love yes. sassy characters and it's so fun to see characters like that like interact and have lots of downtime so i been making ocs if anyone ever makes one that has lots of personality you can have lots of personality even if your character is say shy or your character is something like that they can still have lots of personality just in different like, ways like reclusive kind of like how, uh, i'm gonna go back to talking about max okay mm -hmm. i'm sorry yeah well the <laughs> video has him in it so it makes sense yeah, yeah. um 
But Max, he's supposed to be kind of like a really angry, like, oh, I don't really like things, so I'm not going to talk much kind of guy, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, but he's, he's, he's not usually, like I said, talkative, but he mm. likes, he, he's, he's kind of sassy, I guess. There's, yeah. there's no better, I was trying to think he, of he's a like, word. He's like, um, I'm guessing more, is he ever grumpy-ish? Like, I don't know how to explain it. He is grumpy. He's like, he, he, he doesn't like to show his, his emotions. So he's kind he of standoffish like, in a sense. Yeah, he's very standoffish and, but he's, he's, um, the type that will, come in to protect people he cares about like his little sister i don't think i showed you her yet no i don't think so oh I'll now i want to see you later <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're just gonna draw all of her ocs all in a row just <laughs> here we go ocs and we're gonna try yeah. and talk about things and not actually mention them and we're gonna start talking about cartoons and <laughs> yeah. that's what we're doing at the moment but yeah i love <laughs> characters that even if their um, personalities are different say you have a character that's shy or even a character that can't even speak. So they, mm-hmm. their personality can be shown through so many different things, and you can still have a lot of personality, even mm-hmm. if you're so standoffish, shy, and don't talk to people. It's just a different way exactly. of showing it. And, that- and I think... Eh, sorry. No, go ahead. <laughs> I think a good part of character development and character building comes from how you can make your characters interact with each other. Yeah, like, that, that is a Max- huge thing. Yeah, like Max is the standoffish, angry guy, and then his little sister is like, "Really, hi, man! Oh, wow, I'm so excited!" Yeah, and like C- they... characters that really counteract each other with yes. crazy different personalities is I amazing in things, and it makes it so entertaining to see how they react I know. to each other. They're the the ones that are like polar opposite personalities, but they work so well together. I know sometimes. it's so cute. It's adorable. Yes. See, see, this is why you should make a webcomic just so that I can like watch it and be like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm actually trying to learn how to make a visual novel. I love visual novels. Oh my gosh. I love those things. I used to play them all the time. I, yes, I should send you a link to the test that I had going. Totally. I want to see it. But all yeah, right. I, I, the thing about OCs is that when you're making an OC, just make whatever sounds fun to you. You don't have to mm-hmm. worry about like, oh my gosh, everyone's going to be like, oh, his character doesn't have enough backstory. Or maybe if I mm-hmm. chop off his arm, then suddenly someone will like him. But yeah, it's not cool. You you can just do whatever you want. And it's OCs are free for anything. I don't know why people are exactly. always judging them. Exactly. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's my... <laughs> That's my big argument, too. People get so fed up over an original character whenever it's supposed to be someone's own property. Like, there are so many people that are afraid of making a Mary Sue, uh, Mm -hmm. so they end up making something that some people call an anti-Sue, where, like, they make the character really boring and bland and disinteresting and stuff like that because they don't want to make the character seem too interesting you know yeah it's like they're they're trying their best not to be one thing so they have to keep moving everything they want to do and keep changing it just to try like i want to make my character a neko that has uh like multi eye colors like heterochromia Mm -hmm. and maybe like two hair colors but if i do that she'll be seen as a Mary Sue, so I can't do that. So I'll just give her brown hair, brown eyes. No, but then you do that. Then you do that and everyone will say your character's bland. Exactly, and and you get rid of everything that was going to make your character original and creative and unique I know. because you wanted to make the character a Neko with rainbow hair and eyes, yeah. but then you chose not to, so it's not even the same character anymore at Seriously, that point. Seriously, you should just be free to do whatever because think about it, even if you make them bland, someone's going to be mad because your character's bland, and then if you don't make them bland, someone will be like, oh, you're just making him so he doesn't have arms because that's something that'll get attention, <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> Dude, cares, just leave me alone! It, yeah, it's like it's part of the story. Or even if I don't have a story, I created it this way because I wanted it to be this way. I don't, I'm doing it for me. I'm not doing it for you. <laughs> Seriously, they're OCs. Like, why is this such a big issue? I know. Uh, oh, it, OCs God. seems to be such a triggering and like controversial topic for yeah, some people. Yeah, especially that's why I was bringing up role plays, is because that's usually where people see your OCs. It's mm-hmm. because if you're role-playing with them, a lot of people see them, and then that's why you get so much backlash, and it's so annoying. See, that's another thing that I, I kind of have a problem with, is people getting so upset at OCs that aren't even used in role-plays. Like, who cares? This character's created for this person, not mm-hmm. for, like, 
to make a story or to be yeah. role played with. So why does it matter to you whether the character is a god modding type of character or oh my gosh. something that you would hate to role play with? Exactly. I have received like no tobacco um, a while ago. It was probably years ago. But when I would make characters, I'd make them up and then uh, not use them for anything. I would just post them and be like, here's my OC. And that was it. And I would get comments of people telling me that the, the OC was bland or this was wrong with the OC's backstory. And I was like, I don't care. I made up a backstory just because I thought it was fun or cool. Why, why is there uh, no issues? And it mm -hmm. was so unnecessary. That reminds me of something that happened to me quite a few years ago as well. I made a character called Serenity, who I made for some uh, apocalyptic story time type of thing where she uh, was surviving a zombie apocalypse. And I she was in Kendo class and um so she was a she was she was she knew how to use a sword so she dressed like a samurai type of thing mm -hmm. and um whenever i created her uh, i'll be honest i made her on using gaia online's avi creator yeah but that's still making an oc either way <laughs> yeah but whenever i drew her everyone thought that i was stealing a character ersa from um fairy tale just because that they happened to both wear like the stereotypical samurai wear with like the gauze uh like the bandage wrapping mm -hmm. on the chest and the, the samurai oh. pants oh, and they that, both yeah. have red hair and yeah. a ponytail i have i have a friend who has done the same thing where they had a character and they made it up original completely and then they uploaded it and it happened to look like a character that came out after words like exactly. after they made their character a year later a show came out or something that looked identical to that character and then mm -hmm. they were like oh wow and everyone suddenly was against them for their character because of that and they couldn't use their character anymore because they're like oh dang something popular came out with it so now my character is no longer original even though they were technically original but <laughs> no, they God. were until the other thing and, and that's another problem too is that they're they're like so many characters that are pretty generic looking mm -hmm. uh to the point where if you make a pretty generic looking character people will probably tell you that you're ripping off a generic character from some anime yeah yeah there's always going to be something they're going to compare it to there's so many yeah. animes out there it's impossible to know if your character is going to look to resemble someone somewhere and yeah. it's, it's so annoying but yeah anyway we're going to be about done now but if you guys want to check out her um youtube or her instagram you can just go down the com well not the comments but the description and you can find all the links there and also there is a discord if you want to join she's a mod there and the discord is where we're just going to share art and stuff like that or you can post your ocs there for me to see and stuff like that but that's about everything you have anything else you want to say before we end uh no not really <laughs> uh, pretty much said everything yeah we've been talking forever anyway well thank yeah. you guys so much for watching <laughs>